a heavyweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Jose Aldo. Well, there's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Jose Aldo the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit better. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Over and over, he lands this big body kick. Big knee there. Superman punch. Oh, 
Oh, straight right. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big Paul punch man. Now we get back to range. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, single collar tie here. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jose Alba. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Lee gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. One minute now to go in round one. Ooh, head kick landed. He's hurt. Strike blocked by Lee. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 15 seconds. Good punch lands. I mean, he's cutting down the size with his beautiful leg kick. All right, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Aldo gets touched by that kick there. Oh! Looking to land the right hand, he misses. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a look like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Nice hook lands. Oh! And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Trying to kick the leg out. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now a knee to the body. Beautiful head kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch. There. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. So a much different approach. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Stats here, these numbers on a oh! oh, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and then 
and allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Big punch land. Ooh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. You hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh! What a round. Right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch land over the top. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Nice job of hiding that head kick. On his man. stage he comes up large the baddest man on the planet the UFC heavyweight champion of the world your winner and by knockout here tonight ladies and gentlemen referee Dan Bernardi has called a stop to this contest at three minutes 58 seconds of round number three playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world Joseph.
DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face, you can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time, and 